The beauty of the Smoky Mountains is ever-changing. Could look at it over and over and never see the same thing twice. And it was because of that beauty that two brothers took a chance on a lifelong dream. Our parents in our, in their, uh, in our younger years would bring us up here and we'd just come up here on top and have a picnic and look out at the mountains and we knew that that was something un unique and so we wanted to be able to share that with others. The land around Buckberry Creek had been in James and Buddy McLean's family for years. Their grandfather purchased the property back in 1945. James and I have looked at doing something with this property for the last 15 years, and we looked at three or four different opportunities that we might uh, do to, uh, uh, to build a place that was unique to the area. And we didn't like any of them until we came up with the idea that something would be natural. So the McLean brothers decided to build a mountain lodge in the Smokies, but they drew inspiration from different mountains. Well, I think primarily we went up to the Anirandacks and, and, and saw the beauty of some of the old uh, places that have been there over 100 years and, and uh, the style. It just really seemed like it fit up here in Gallenberg and, and that's what we really liked and we wanted to bring that look back here. Designer Jeannie Johnson became a partner in the deal and she immediately went to work planning the look and feel of the lodge. James and Buddy had um, talked to me about this venture for years. And finally, they said, we're on go. Are you on go with us? And I said, let's do it. Jeannie and the McLean brothers researched everything they could about the Adirondacks and literally moved heaven and earth to bring them here. In all, it took about 18 months of building. We uh, have 30-foot hemlocks with the bark on, uh, and we brought down six tractor trailer loads of wood from the Adirondacks. And all of it's unique. We have uh, 10,000 square feet of birch bark that we brought down. We have a half a mile of white cedar railing that we brought down. And so we wanted to make something that fit right into the mountains, but it was natural. It wasn't peeled logs. The McLean brothers wanted the lodge to look and feel rustic, but with all the creature comforts of home. It's certainly the biggest thing I've ever tried to design, and I said I made it as hard as I could possibly make it because every suite, which there are 45, is different. The first thing you see when you walk in the lodge is a log cabin. So we like to say that that was the original log cabin on the place, although it wasn't. Jeannie kept the rustic theme going throughout the room, but don't worry, the stuffed animals were donated to the lodge from friends of the Smokies. Off the lobby is the gathering room, where guests can sit and relax by the fireplace or visit with friends, or stare at what the owners call their happy moose. But we got him in upstate New York also, and um, it was very important to James and to Buddy that the moose be happy, and we definitely think he has a smile on his face as he welcomes everyone. An impressive oil painting by Ron Williams called Soul of the Mountain sits on the other side of the room, and above it are some unusual family heirlooms, Kentucky Long Rifles. They've been collected uh, by the McLean family, and we like to say that it's one shotgun for each wedding the McLean family has had. Just off the gathering room is the dining area, where guests enjoy a complimentary breakfast while being warmed by the fire. Chocolate <laughs> would be my favorite piece in the dining room. This is gonna sound odd, but some bone salt shakers brought back from Africa I think, add a well-traveled look to the lodge. Each suite at the lodge at Buckberry Creek is different, but they each feature luxuries like fireplaces, fully equipped kitchens, and jacuzzi tubs. One of the unique things that we wanted here was for people to come up here, stay at where they could see the views, but also have the ability to walk on trails and, and be comfortable doing that. So we have a half mile trail cut through the mountains to the pavilion which is on a creek. And it's about as serene and as comfortable and as quiet. It's, it's for reading, it's for parties, it's for 
social gatherings. But it's how you get to the pavilion that makes it really special. We have a uh, six-wheel drive vehicle and a four-wheel drive vehicle called Penscowers. They're Swiss Army trucks. Uh, they're troop carriers. They're 30 years old and they're very unique to the area uh, and yet uh, they, uh, they take all of our people down there, our guests, they take our food down there. For now, the owners of the lodge at Buckberry Creek are sitting on top of the world with a new appreciation for the mountains and each other. Well, my brother and I have uh, gone through this together. We've, uh, it's actually made us uh, closer because we are uh, seven years difference in age and uh, we, we've learned to work together. He's been the driving force and, and uh, really had, had a lot of the vision and uh, there were some things that I always like to uh, be on the more cautious side so I think we work very well off of each other and uh, kind of complement each other so I think that's good. Just the love of nature is reflected here and we want people to come and enjoy nature with us.